So I just ran into somebody who I've been following for a while, a website called PC Perspective, and Jim T Tennis, is that? Hey. Yes, that's right. They, yep, good, good to see you. We've been following you as well, Lon, so it's great to finally meet you. And this is one of the things I love coming about, com about coming to the show, is I get to meet people that I follow, and it's great to see that we have mutual respect for our work, and I greatly appreciate that. So same, nice. same here, same here. So what do you think about CES? I, I feel like it's incrementalism. Does that sound about right? It is. I mean, there's some areas that, at least in the, in the areas we cover with this PC hardware, where they've made some big leaps. And HDR monitors is really what I'm excited about. We've had them for a while. We've had ultra-wides. We've had 4K. We've had high refresh rate. We haven't had them all together in one. Uh, Asus released something last year uh, that was $2,000 upon release. And great monitor, way too expensive. Now this year we're seeing a lot of monitors come out, so you're going to get that great gaming experience, that great movie watching experience, uh, good image quality, and in the form factor you want. Ultra wide, huge, you know, standard 24 inch, they got it all. So that's really the big thing I've noticed is monitors have taken a leap this year. What about general PC hardware? Is there a lot of cool stuff that you saw here or stuff that's already been announced? Um, I mean, well, you know, NVIDIA had their, their, 2000, or their 2060 release. You know, they had the, the Touring come out uh, end of last year and the 2060 launched just this week. Uh, so that's exciting because that's, uh, when the RTX series came out, they were really high priced. They set a new kind of new bar for pricing in the wrong direction. Uh, but the 2060 at 349 of MSRP, at least, we'll see what happens on the street. But it's doing it's doing as well as maybe a 1070 and pushing a 1080 from last generation. So you're getting good gaming graphics from traditional games, as well as that ability to do ray tracing on the new stuff that comes out. And we've been very impressed. We have a review of that over at PCPro.com, and we took a look at their booth today, and they've got some some pretty high-end games: Battlefield 5, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running on a on a on what has now become a, a mid-range gaming card. It's pretty. Cra it's crazy, right? The price is coming down, and you're gonna be able to get a lot for for less. Yeah, we were all wait. We were we were all kind of disappointed at the RTX launch because of that high price. So this is really uh, making up for that, and uh, we're excited to see what AMD has to say in response as well. So hopefully we'll get a new arms race in the graphics cards coming up soon. I'd love that, and I'm seeing it in laptops now at the show also. Yeah, the big thing is that the RTX series has a lower power requirement, so they're able to put higher performance in those ultra, like not ultra thin, but not the traditional like six inch thick gaming laptops. So you've got uh, uh, 40 laptops I think coming out from various manufacturers that are going to have RTX series cards. They'll do real time video encoding for, for streamers, uh, obviously gaming, things like uh, graphics effects, uh, real time rendering. Uh, so lots of options that, that put a lot of power in those uh, pretty nice and small form factors. Well, it's going to be an exciting year that's probably going to cost us all a lot of money, even though it costs less. Now we can just buy more, right? No, absolutely. I mean, my wallet has been aching looking at some of this stuff already. So where can people find PC Perspective, and what are the things that you cover there? Sure. So we do uh, PC hardware, DIY PC builds, and, and uh, technology reviews, networking, storage, all that stuff. And you can find us over at PCPER.com. PCPER well, great. Jim, thank you very much, and thanks for coming up and saying hi, and uh, we look forward to working with you maybe throughout the year. That'd be great. It's great to meet you, Lon. Cool. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.